So hey guys, welcome to my nighttime fat bike vlog. Haven't done a riding vlog in a while. Most of my videos lately have been action videos set to music. Which I enjoy making those. And uh, I mean, if I go and ride with somebody on a fat bike, it's kind of hard to vlog when you're riding with somebody. So I'm just out at night here getting in some exercise. Yeah, so I don't know how well this video is gonna turn out. I'm using my new GoPro Hero 3 Plus. It supposedly has a better low light performance. So if you're seeing this on YouTube, then I thought it worked out well enough. You might hear a bit of audio whine in the background. Like what the hell is up with that? Like this is what the fifth or sixth generation of these cameras. And they still haven't figured out quirks and issues like that. It's absurd considering what I paid for this camera. Yeah, this uh, piece of land I'm on right now is city land. It's behind a psychiatric hospital. And I guess you could kind of call it parkland, but it's kind of become an unofficial dog park. So people come here and walk their dogs, almost always not on a leash when they are breaking city bylaw. And of course they've never had to contend with fat bikes before. Now I'm coming out here and riding fairly regularly. I get a lot of dirty looks while they have their dogs not on a leash. Like, it's absurd. The sense of entitlement they have is hilarious. This little section of single track here. Now human footprints are one of the worst things to ride your bicycle through in the snow when there's just been a few people because they sink in and then their steps harden it's like riding through a minefield but eventually if you get enough people walking on it they make the best possible trail but a lot of people have to walk on it so the fact that this is as hard packed as it is gives you an idea of how many people come here and walk See the lights of the city there. This is one of the open fields. Well packed down. Got some wind blown piles here. It's been pretty windy the past few days. Some wind chills in the minus 40 Celsius range. So yeah, polar vortex. We have had a cold winter, some record uh, low temperatures, hit minus 38 Celsius before wind chill. A series there where it was regularly into the minus 30s overnight and uh, didn't get much warmer than minus 25 during the day. You know, I'll go out and ride my fat bike once or twice uh, in that kind of weather, but when it continues for a couple weeks on end, uh, it's pretty mentally draining. So I didn't ride as much as I wanted for a couple weeks there because it was just so cold. I mean, it just sucks. It just sucks the pleasure and enjoyment out of it. So we finally had a break. This is the warmest day we've had in a while. It's like minus 10 Celsius right now. In the daytime highs, so it's get a little bit colder, minus 15-ish, which is good. I'll ride in those kind of temps, but we're still getting cold overnight lows, like minus 25 Celsius almost every night for the next week or so. I want to start commuting to work, but those kinds of temps in the morning, again, I, I have all the gear to ride in that 
those temps but like i said it's not physically draining it's it's mentally draining consistently riding in those kinds of cold temps for me because the more layers of clothes you end up putting on it just starts limiting your mobility and it's less fun to pedal the bike so you get all this resistance from all these layers of clothes yeah so human footprints in fresh snow once they've had a chance to harden are one of the worst things to ride a bicycle through in the winter and windblown snow is one of the worst things to ride a bicycle through even a fat bike it's windblown snow is so dense that it looks like it should be easy to ride through but it's been packed so dense that uh, it's not it's no fun So yeah, hopefully we are done with polar vortexes, or polar vortexes for this winter. Is there no fun? Okay, so I haven't been out to uh, the family camp cottage yet this winter plans to do a couple rides out there this winter me and my uh, younger brother to fat bike to Tower Mountain the second highest point above sea level in Ontario and uh, the Arrow Lake Cliffs where I've never been and that's uh, basically a gravel road that more or less goes there but it's pretty hilly and it's off the beaten track so especially if we're gonna do it in the cold i'd prefer to do it with a buddy for safety's sake and it'll be snowmobiled in so in the summertime it's actually uh it's not it's m occasionally maintained so some of the downhills i guess wash out expose rocks so the hills would be a lot of fun to blast down if they were in better condition uh, with this snow coverage we have now and the snowmobiles going over it it should be pretty much like a highway so the downhill should be bucket loads of fun and the uphill portion should be rideable it should be packed hard as rock by snowmobiles a little gradual downhill section here not quite as hard packed through here so people are just starting to come through this section since the last bit of snow we had but it is rideable there's a fast downhill here with a short fast with a steep uphill so you got to carry your speed to be able to make it up the other side nice get it It's beautiful at night. Yeah, there's another place I want to take you guys. It's called Cowan Park. It's a city park. Not very well known. But me and my brother went snowshoeing there not that long ago, just uh, on the weekend. And uh, city uh, park you're not supposed to snowmobile on there but because it's on the edge of town snowmobilers get in there so it's nice hard packed snowmobile wide there's a huge uphill that's not rideable because it's just too steep but you'll be able to ride down it and it's only snowmobile wide and then it's bush on the side so it's a really cool trail and you'll be able to fly down it and it's one of the longer downhills probably one of the longest continuous downhills trails that I've seen uh, in the area 
so we'll probably go there this weekend again because I'm riding with my brother I probably won't vlog I'll just make a, probably just a video of that downhill not even set to music because it's you know long downhill around here if you go consistently downhill for longer than three minutes that's a long downhill in these parts trail the other nice thing about it the winter time is there doesn't really have to be a trail if there's enough snow you can pretty much make a trail anywhere you want as long as it gets packed down so I'm like uh, literally a five minute ride from uh, where I live it's a nice little piece of parkland uh, just a hop skip and a jump a ride I just have to ride five minutes to get here I would be out here more often if it wasn't for the flip and pull or vortex and done with minus 30 Celsius. So we're coming out into a field here that totally gets wind blown. So I don't even know if we'll be able to ride all of this. it fast when I'd be able to do it. The other thing is it's it's been so cold too the past few nights that it totally hardens up. That's why this is surprisingly rideable. Well, it was. Here it hardens up again just right here. So we should be able to get back on. strong wind see like this kind of stuff you have to stay on the trail where it's even slightly packed because as soon as you go into that untracked stuff your tire sinks through and you almost come to a dead stop so I think it's actually kind of good training for summertime because you get really good at staying on the line so it should even help your summertime mountain biking. That was fun there. Hello. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the whiz bang mount. I think that's what it's called. It's like this backpack with a built-in uh, action camera mount that you can pivot to different positions to get some really cool views. It's fairly expensive, like 159 US. Pretty expensive to get a mount, but then it does double as a legitimate little backpack that you can carry other stuff in. But all the different views you can get with it is pretty freaking cool so I might actually invest in one of those especially if I'm gonna make any back road blast videos where I just go and ride some cool piece of uh, gravel road that we have around here twisty up and down gravel roads be a really cool view unique view that you'll start seeing more of with more and more people buy them but if I get on the board early put some pretty unique looking content okay so here we have that fast downhill with the steep uphill but in the other direction especially the faster you go Boy, you gotta stay on trail, man, because if your wheel goes off the beaten path at speed, chances are you're gonna do an endo over the bars. 
So there's another section of trail that I always noticed that I've never gone down. So let's check it out. Nice temperature, I don't feel cold at all. I've never been down this trail before, so bear with me. Thank you.